go. I'm going to have a look inside here. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, uh, welcome to Silk Farm. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. So this is the map of the complex. We're here. Okay. So you've got the mulberry fields. Training workshops. Spinning and dyeing workshops. Production workshops, research workshop, sewing workshop, loom making, a restaurant, boutique. Well, this must be the welcoming hall, number 16 that we're in now. Yeah. Cocoon culture, training. Wow, so it's a fairly... Um, very concise setup. How clever. Silk production. Hmm. Oh, very good. And it is so pretty, it's almost like it's almost like a park. Look at that in there. It's like a park. Every single day, every single day, from here, they can put them in the park. They are not here. If they are here, they can destroy by the one another. These are the baby silkworm. Okay, baby silkworm. Why I call them babies? Because not only 10 days old, just day 10, you know? Yeah. And now we feed them on mulberry leaf. You know, we only put the leaf on top of them so they can eat through from the bottom up. But they eat for 24 days only. After 24 days, no more eating. Lah. And then they start making the cocoon. So the cocoon is a silk, actually. Yeah. But when they stop eating, we can tell because all of them turn yellow. Oh. And they grow big like that. That fully grown, yeah? So when they turn yellow, we already know. They stop eating, and then we only pick them by hand, one by one, and put them over here. I take them five days to spin the cocoon, you know? They only spin around themselves yeah and after they make the cocoon they can stay in here for 10 days and then they come out and become butterfly but we keep only 20% of cocoon let them become butterfly to get more eggs again for reproduce yeah only 20% another 80% rest for the production so we have to cook them before they come out if the if the butterfly coming out from the cocoon the silk is not good anymore. It's broken, you know. Because one cocoon has only one, one fiber, one long thread, about 400 meters. So if the butterfly come out, it breaks here, yeah? Okay, this one is how, how, how many meters? 400 meters. This one, four, one, 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 cocoon, one is cocoon is 400, 400 meters. meters. And the cocoon in Cambodia is always yellow. But in China, in India, are uh, white. White. Because white. different white. species of the worms, they eat the same leaf but different species. So what type of butterflies? Moth. 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 White moth. 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 Look like that, yeah. Um, so now the worm is inside? Yeah, inside but alive. Alive? Yes. So you, what are you going to do? You put the one in to become a butterfly? So you're going to cook it? We wait for become butterfly. This one. Oh, the, rest, oh. the rest we cook them. 20% we let them become a butterfly. The rest 80% we cook them to get the silk. Yeah. You know, uh, from one cocoon, uh, have two kinds of silk. Two types of silk. Like outside and inside. Uh, we call raw silk. It's on the outside. Raw silk, it feels rougher. 
and fine silk on the inside. Fine silk is better quality. Yeah. Can we touch? We can touch. You can just feel it. You can feel it. Raw silk is from the outside, and fine silk is on the inside. You can tell big difference. You know, if we make garment with raw silk, you can see more texture or more knots on it. And if we make garment with fine silk, it is much smoother, more shiny. You know. That's really, that's a coarse 
It's a really coarse. Silk. Look at that. Yeah. Amazing. Yes, yeah, that's a corsa. That's the outer. That's the outer uh, strands. Technique we call ikat. 
Pika or Chai Dai. The same when we do Chai Dai with the t-shirt, you know. We not eat with plastic and then we dye another color. Like this one start with white. So we use plastic to cover on it to stop the dye and then we put it in the blue dye. When we take the plastic off, white color still be here. And the rest you can see blue and white. Blue and white. So it becomes a pattern like that. Like this one. Now she cutting the plastic. You see the pattern in eh? different color. This is exactly the same. This one, same pattern. You see. And she does the same pattern every day, no change. So she become expert or become good at it. Now we're in the weaving room. Weaving room. these ladies are. You are so clever, aren't you? Talented. work to make that beautiful silk garment oh. and getting that patterns right all the time oh. how do they do it how do you do it you speak English no, no you don't speak English but you do that <laughs> And doing and sitting on that hard wooden board with a little cushion. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh, and look here. Look at this. Look at this. And a little teddy bear cush. And how old is this little girl? Well, young woman, I should say. A young lady doing this sort of work. Talented people. Talented people. Look at this. All so clever. All so clever. It's 
This lady almost climbing into the machine to set it up. You speak English? You speak English? No. No, no speak English? This. This. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Wonderful work. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Just so clever. You're all so clever. Talented ladies. Oh. This, yeah, she's showing me this work. She's showing me this 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 work. Oh, look at this! Look at this work! Look at the pattern on that! Oh. Beautiful! Beautiful work! Oh, I can't get it properly. Oops, I almost hit it. Oh. How on earth? With this, with a dozen pieces of wood and some string suspending it from the frame, how do they do it? Just primitive, primitive work, primitive machine, lengths of wood and string and cord, and they are producing this sort of work. Oh, the talent of these people, my goodness. It's just astounding. And you know, where are they where are they getting the pattern from? And look down here, you've got the different the different thread that makes up the colours and they have to sort that out. I don't know how they do that. Look at them. God. We wonder about ourselves, and we wonder about our about our talents. Oh dear! All talented people, and it would just take hours to do these things. Hours, days, weeks. But look at the intricacy of it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at takes your breath away, doesn't it? Oh. Just takes your breath away. 
amazing. Just amazing. But no complaining. No complain. No, no, no complain. No complaining, but just smile. Smiles. Big smiles. Big smiles all the time from you lovely people. Just smiles, happy with your work. Happy, happy with your work. That's a frock made of cocoons. That's what it is. Silk cocoons. Silk worms make the cocoons and they make the frock. They have a frock out of them. <laughs> Look at the detail in that. Wouldn't you believe it? Goodness. Just a uh, simple dress with a tie. 